Today we're going to be making these cute little Santa dolls. They're just a real simple little doll for like a younger child or just decoration. You can really make them as long or big as you want. A couple years ago or last year, I can't remember, I did a roly-poly Santa that was made more for decoration, but he was also a, a different style. You could use him for a toy. He was more all body with a smaller head. This one's sort of even. And if you watched my Santa sock video, then you'll know that it's basically the same thing. We're just making it into a doll instead of a sock, and we're not going to be sewing a cuff on it. So let's look and see what we did here. So I'm using the five, approximately five and a half inch long round loom, and I'm only using the E-wrap. That's usually all I use. And I'm going to knit for approximately one and a half inches. And then I'm going to change to the white yarn. On the demo dolls, I did do a little longer knitting. I think I did for about two and a half, but I just didn't like how long the head turned out. So I'm going for on this, on this third one, I'm going for a little bit of a smaller head. So that's where you're going to see the differentiation there. So I'm using a wet yarn weight of four, but I'm using, I'm doing from the center and from the outside of the skein. So I'm double, double yarning it. <laughs> that's a word. And how I'm changing yarns, I'm just going to tie it off. And then I'll poke that knot to the inside. And I'm going to go around and I'm going to knit the white for approximately an inch. I'm going to go knit this for approximately an inch and then I'm going to switch over to the flesh colored yarn and I'm using a peach, I think it was apricot something. It was an older yarn that I had gotten at a garage sale and it is also a weight of four and I will also be doing double double yarn on that one and I'm going to knit the face for about two inches and you can use whatever flesh tone you want to use and by flesh I mean you know like person's skin so it could um, you could do an African-American Santa or Asian Santa or whatever kind of Santa you want to do for you and your loved ones. So I'm going to do this, I'm going to knit the white for approximately an inch and then I'm going to knit the flesh which is going to be the face for approximately two inches and then I will rejoin you when it's time to switch back to white and do his beard. All right so I went and I knitted for approximately two inches on the red, an inch on the white, two inches on the, the face, the flesh part, and an inch on the beard. Now I am going to get ready to change to the red so we can do his shirt. Now remember I'm trying to do, I didn't really like the look of the longer ones when it came out so I'm trying to shorten it a bit from the demos that I showed you where it seemed I did a lot longer on everything so I'm sort of shortening everything up. If you like the longer look then I did about four I did about three or four for the top, I did a one for the white, I did about three for the face, and then I did two for the beard. So I've shortened everything up a little bit with this other one, trying to shrink the head size a little bit. I want, I'm want i going for a more rounder head, and this one was sort of more um, elongated and oval, just like the body, and I want like a round head and a long body is what I'm, I'm aiming for. So that's what I've done here. So on the original one, I knitted for about three inches, and I think I'm going to go ahead and do that same thing. I'm going to knit the top, this will be Santa's shirt, for three inches. Then we'll do an inch of the black belt. And did, ended up doing about three inches, a little under three inches for the red. And I went ahead and did an inch for the black belt. And then I went ahead and changed to back to my red yarn. And the rest of the 
stuffy, lovey, stuffed Santa is going to be red. And I'm going to knit four, about four, maybe five inches. We'll, I'll go ahead and, and do it and I'll see. If five looks like it's going to be too long, I'll stop at four. Because remember, I'm trying to shorten the... Well, I was trying to shorten the top part, but not necessarily the bottom part. But if I am doing the same measurements as the other one, and it looks like the bottom part is going to be wonky, weird, long, then I, you know, I definitely want to shorten that up. But my goal right now is I'm going to go finish... I'm going to go do... Four, possibly five, we'll see when I come back, inches of the red, which would be um, anything like the pants, anything of Santa's below the black belt. Alrighty, I have gone ahead and to recap what I've done so far, I knitted uh, two inches red stripe, an inch white stripe, two inches a flesh color, whatever flesh tone you chose, um, about two inches for his beard, two and a half inches for the red shirt part. I did approximately an inch and a half black for the belt, and then I ended up doing about five inches, four or five, it was like four and a half inches. Four or five would be good for the bottom part. And now we are going to take it off the loom. So I'm going to leave about 18 inches of yarn there. All right, got it off there. And remember, here's the one. And remember, we were trying to make it, we were going to shrink his head a little bit. Before I get going here, too, I like to add that I'll be putting down in the link to, I think, four PDFs. I bought a really cool vintage scrapbook at an antique store. And it had all kinds of, it looked like it had been a young teen's scrapbook from the, looked like the 1950s, early to mid-1950s. And had all kinds of greeting cards and pieces from postcards and all kinds of cool stuff. And so I took all the Christmas stuff out that, that I was able to get out of the scrapbook. And I scanned it. And I'm providing it to you in a link. So you can print it off and use it. You can make little gift tags or whatever other crafty things you'd like to make out of it. I thought some of them were really cute and would make really cute little gift tags. If you printed them out, cut them out on cardstock. Anyway, just a little handy... Uh, extra freebie there that you can get down in my comment in the description box I'm sorry if I said comments and I had a bunch of other Christmas projects planned but I don't just don't think I'm gonna get around to them okay you can cinch it up on these I cinched it up on this one I was talking and I finished it up like a sock so um, should have cinched it up a little bit more but oh well it'll work either way you would have closed that um, bottom up there now, uh, you can stuff it first and then do the face, or you can do the face by itself and then stuff it. I think I'm going to go ahead and do the face. And I'm going to use a double, double strand of weight of four black, the same thing I used for the belt. Uh, I know I want to put the nose in the center right here, so I'm just going to sort of eyeball where I want the eyes, and I'm just going to do two upside down V's for his eyes. Now you could have buttoned black button eyes, you could do that. You could if, if you're using it more for decoration, you can do all kinds of things. You could do googly eyes, you could add jingle bells. But if you're making it for a child's toy, unless it's an older child, um, I would suggest not using anything that could be ripped off and uh, a choking hazard. I would just stick with yarn 
instead of googly eyes and stuff. But if you're making these to like put around your fireplace or on your mantle or whatever as a Christmas decoration, uh, then you can, you can really be more imaginative. And I'm going to make a stitch just to sort of secure that, those stitches there. I want to switch over and I want to use the pink yarn. Basically um, a round circle, however you want to do that. You're just doing a nose here. Now let's go ahead and stuff him, and this is sort of a moment of truth to see if I got his head more like I was looking for. Now I'm going to, to close up the top with some red yarn. Because since I can't use a knot like in conventional sewing, I'm just going to tie it like this. I'm going to, and then I'll stick that tail right back down in there. I'm going to go around just like I would do a drawstring purse. I'm just going to cinch it up, do a running drawstring around the top. I'm just going to take this yarn off. And I just want to tie it right below that beard. And then I've got these little pom-poms here. A regular thread, and I forgot my white thread, so I'm going to be using some this tan thread that I had sitting here from another project. So the first ones, this is the one we just did. These are the other ones. So he came out a little shorter. I don't know if his head is that much smaller. <laughs> I guess it is a little. This one's really long. So you can sort of see the progression. I was like, well, let's shorten it a little bit more. And then I shortened it a little bit more. And I shortened it a little bit more. I think if I wanted to get it completely rounder, maybe I would do these all an inch instead of the longer. But... In any event, I like him. I like this one better than I like this one. This one just was too, I don't know, too much face. That's what it was. I like this one better, but <laughs> there it is. If it, like I said, if you're doing for decorations, you could put music inside of them. You could put ho holding something. You know, could sew like a you know wreath or little Christmas socks or a little bag. You know, different things like that. You could really use your imagination if you are making them for decorations. If you're making them for toys, I would say just try to keep it as simple as possible so you are not posing any kind of choking risk. So that is our little easy Santa doll, Santa lovey, um, and be sure to check out in my description box for the links to the printable, downloadable vintage Christmas scrap that I got out of that antique scrapbook. It was a lot of fun. I'm, I'm sure you can find all kinds of little crafty projects to use that stuff with. So this has been Angie from Canterbury Trails Farm wishing you a happy holiday season and a Merry Christmas.